All right, I'm not sure what happened, but uh, well, we are back again. I'm back again on this new video here. Um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm not sure what, what happened, but it's okay. Thank God we're back again. All right, please go ahead and just share the video on your page and let's get more people connected uh, to this new video here. Um, thank you, thank you for coming back. Thank you for joining. Uh, I think the internet is not that great here. Wow. Still trying to load. Not sure what happened. Maybe Facebook shut me down. I'm not sure. Um, all right. So welcome back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for coming back. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Uh, the Lord will continue to be with us. I just want to continue to read comments. That's why I need my phone. And I think I pushed the wrong button or something. Uh, and the whole stuff went off. All right, so I'm going to start again. I'm going to start again. I'm not sure why it's not loading. It's not loading at all on my phone. Uh, but I believe you guys can see me. You can hear me properly, clearly. Um, I'm not sure what's going on. Something happened. Something happened. Something happened. Something happened. Something happened here. I'm not sure what it is. All right, let's go ahead. Now, you see, um, the issue is that it's, it's, it's actually good if you get a visa, you have the mind to travel, you want to travel out, you want to go to a different country, you want to come to the Western world. It's not just only, it's not just only uh, the visa that is needed, that is necessary. Uh, so many of us just believe that, okay, the moment you get the visa, then you're going to be on your way. Uh, when you get the visa, you're actually where you're supposed to be. You're going to sing the song, But I want to let you understand one thing, that you're just starting the journey. The journey is just beginning. Okay? So, you, 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 you're thanking God. You are going and waiting away from Nigeria where there is no light. The system is not working, no water, no security. Uh, the government, they are not able to fight for nobody. Okay, uh, and all kinds of stuff that is killing here and there, kidnapping everywhere, and all kinds of stuff. And the government seems not to have solution to all that. All right, it's actually very painful. It's not something anybody uh, wants to connect with. It's not something anybody wants to be inside. A system that is not working. All right, a majority of us we are well educated. We believe that okay, we deserve better than what our government is offering us. Uh, the government of our country is not actually interested in our well-being, in our welfare uh, at all. Uh, so many of the government officials are embezzling money and they're spraying money. I, I, I'm not against musicians, okay? Musicians can sing and make money. That's their job, okay? You know, they, they sing, they praise people, get into people's heads, and then they make their own money. There's nothing wrong in that, all right? But I, 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 I really don't appreciate government officials. You can't try that in America. Government officials embezzling the money, the government money, and going in front of the people and musicians to spend the money that belongs to the government, that belongs to the people of Nigeria. When people are suffering, too many people can't even afford to eat three square meals a day. I'm talking about three square meals. I, you know, they can't even eat one meal in a day. And the government official is going all around and spending millions, throwing millions in the atmosphere wasting the money that we should have used to actually you know empower the people assist the people give them a future and even give them what to eat immediate needs all right we don't the musicians are already rich they have hotels they have buildings and cars and whatever it is and so and we still carry the same money to go spray musicians and all kinds of stuff it's not their fault they're making their money all right it's good for them all right, and that's just the issue. So our country is not working. The, the, the country Nigeria is not working at all. The president is not doing anything. All the governors are just sitting down there, just looking for opportunity to embezzle money, to take money and better their own lives and treat their own family good and send their own family to the to overseas countries for vacation. Let them go buy Gucci, buy Tommy, buy all kinds of stuff, do shopping, whatever. And then they go back to Nigeria and they start oppressing other people. All right, it's a land without no without laws, a country without organization, no structure, no nothing. Okay, people don't people don't take they're not responsible 
people that we have ele we are electing into offices they are not responsible they are not loyal to us they are not loyal to the system they are not loyal to the people who elected them we voted them in but they have forgotten about our own labor now they are embezzling money taking care of themselves and and they are making us to suffer people are afraid to live in their own countries in their own country people can't live in their homes they are not able to drive on the street people can't even travel they can't go anywhere because there's no security in the company, in the country. The people that are supposed to be securing us, the police, they are the armed robbers. The police are the kidnappers. The police are actually there to support the criminals. The moment you're able to give the police some certain amount of money, they, 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 they let you go. They don't care if, they, if the car is stolen or not. They don't want to know who is at fault. The person that will actually be guilty will be the one with that money. And that's the problem we have in that country. And everybody is thinking of, I can't leave. I need to leave that country. The good men, the good women, the, the, most, the most brilliant set of people in the country, the most educated people in the country are leaving and they are going to another country outside to be of a good use, or be, of, to be useful in a different country. And they go, they add value to other countries of the world. Go and look at how many Nigerians are in London. Go and look at what they're doing. They're contributing to the economy of London. Go and look at how many people are in Holland, they're in Poland, they're in Germany. They are contributing to the, to the, to the economy of that country. So go and check out how many people are in America. I want to let you understand that Nigeria will produce the largest number of medical doctors in New York City. Where are they working? They work in New York, in America. They are contributing to the system in America, the economy of America. So many Nigerians are into engineering field. A lot of people are into IT. A lot of Nigerians are all over there. We have dominated the system in overseas countries. We are living, we are living for others. We are living for the Americans. We are helping the Americans to build their own country. That's what we do. That's exactly what we do. Okay? So we, we move out of our country. Every one of us, we wake up in the morning, the only thing that pops into our head is that how can we get out of this nasty, crazy country? And if you, if you, may, if you are the kind of person you feel like, okay, I want to go to Nigeria, let me go and contribute to the system. Let's look for a way to actually adjust the system and make it right. They don't like that. They don't want you to make it right. They want it to be crooked. They want Some people are getting richer by the day because of that system. And because of that, they don't want the country to work. They don't want the system to work at all. Because the moment the system works, then they may not make the kind of money they're making anymore. All right? They may not make it. So it, it, it's their own prayer for the country to continue to be like this. They want people to be afraid so they can shut up their mouth and they cannot contest with the government. If people cannot ask questions, if people are not free, if people can have a, a freedom, then they are under bondage. Then the government will do whatever it is that the government is doing without anybody able to question them. All right? They are happy because it's a control. It's a level of control over the citizen. They invited the kidnappers to come in. They invited the people that are killing people to come in. They allow them to do what they're doing just to intimidate the country, the citizens of the country. So the ones are battling with how to survive, the country we are fight, battling with how to feed ourselves, how to feed our children. So we won't even think about how much money they are investing. We won't even think about are they really constructing roads or not. We won't even bother ourselves. Maybe they're actually giving, you know, maybe they are, if, if there is water in Nigeria at all. We will just continue to suffer and we'll be looking for a way to continue to manage ourselves. So it's inside, inside of that back to that they are busy embezzling money they are controlling the nation and if we are not ready to die we cannot make nigeria right who wants to die for nigeria nobody nobody wants to die for nigeria everybody wants to live everybody wants to enjoy everybody wants to do one thing or the other but for us to die for nigeria nobody wants to do that and it will take men and women that are die hard people who are ready to face the battle to be able to deliver Nigeria from where we are right now. It's not about electing, 
It's not about electing young people. No. I've said it many times. It's not about electing young people. The young people are corrupt too. Very corrupt. They're even more corrupt than the other old ones. You'll be very surprised. You'll be very, very surprised. If we don't have a change of mindset, we can't elect nobody in Nigeria that will work. No. The mindset is bad. Our orientation about life is terrible. It's not the way it should be. All right? So what am I saying this morning is that there's nothing bad, there's nothing wrong in we, ah, there's nothing wrong in we having that particular mindset of running away from the country. Let's run away from this country. This country is not working. But see, one thing you have to put at the back of your mind, I always say this all the time, everything requires education. Everything requires knowledge. You must know exactly where you're going. You must know the law that is governing the place you're going. You must know everything about the country you're going for you to be able to settle in real quick. If you are single, brother, you're very lucky. You see, many of us in Africa, we by the time you get to the age of 40, your mommy is already pressurizing you. You must get married at the age of 35. You're being pressurized to get married. At your 50, you're, you're, you, must, you must be married. So, so many of us, we are married already in Africa. And you're coming into the United States of America and you want to come there to settle is not just visa. Hello? Visa is just the is the is the tiniest part of your transition. Visa is the smallest part of the process. Thank God you got the visa. You can sing and go and dance in church, go and do Thanksgiving. All right, many of you will go to church to do Thanksgiving because of visa. I didn't. I didn't do Thanksgiving because of visa. Okay, I was I was actually on point. I, I, I knew exactly what I was actually going in for. <laughs> I had understanding of what exactly I'm going in for. So I didn't celebrate anything, I didn't do Thanksgiving, I didn't go and dance in church and say, ah, oh movie Now listen, this is just the tiniest part of this process. You, after getting the visa, you will now get the ticket. After getting the ticket, <clears throat> you will take yourself with your bags to the airport. And then your wife will come and be dancing and be kissing you and be saying, my dear, God bless you. Inside of the mind and the heart of that woman is that Eminati, the Yahweh, America. Koko, mi lole, kuokulu, America, kuma, kuwale. Kawana, koman san, bi dadi tokumbo. How are now common son? Be bored that the mini. How are now common son? Be daddy coolie. And that is in the mind of the woman. The woman is so happy. The white husband is going to say, He go low, I'm mommy. Oh, he go last year. I say, I want more. You say, Ah, my yammer worry. Tim Batty won't marry. Cabra, you must send your was your. Who blast of one, my old boy, who could not say the Sukuma, Sukuma, or put on my international school, or my international school, do I like Belly Well? He bang it, my bang, my long, 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 that's the way they see it. They, they believe they believe that's the way it works. It doesn't work that way. Okay? Or you'll be waving at your husband. You will not have a okay. That's not the way. That's the beginning of the suffering. Nobody will tell you this. I'm telling you. Nobody will share this with you. So, you see, that's the way it works. If you are winning American lottery, after winning American lottery and you're going alone to America, it's a good thing because you already have a foundation and the foundation is that you already have a green card waiting for you in America. But luckily, no American lottery anymore for Nigerians. At the get on finally, in between the time, you can't get to the point of the point of the point. So, there's no American lottery for you again. So, right now, everybody is going in on your own or you're everybody you are. Or oh, you're everybody out. All right. So now the issue is now this. You went to the airport with him, you danced at the airport. Some people will even go and hire Unigan. 
to go with them be eh oh really oh really oh gang 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 and then they escort the person until we get to that departure area and they'll be waving and waving and the children will be crying. He said, I miss you, I miss you. He said, I don't cry, I must look for. He made it, he must say, don't see me. He's spoiling, he's spoiling in that. He's spoiling in that. He's spoiling in that. He's spoiling in that. So now you didn't know, you, you, you did not ask brother the lady that built a mansion next to your house. He said, we well, live in America, sir. Who lady the brother to meet you? I'm robber. The brother to meet you. Brother to meet you. No credit card. The series in real America. You. And that's what he is being a mansion in Nigeria. You didn't ask that he could answer. Who oh, let's call him lady. That he could live for the Arubo. You. If the Arubo is that he could live for. That he could live for the Arubo. Mommy could live for the Arubo. Could live for the Arubo. Could live for the Arubo. Could live <laughs> you know what I'm You did not ask them. You don't know. You just believe that they just go there and come and come and say, No, that's not the way. It's a lot of process. So by the time you leave and they're waving at you, and you enter into the place and then you enter on the plane, who went this year? Who no plane? What is What is young? What is What then you sleep off a little bit, you wake up again and say, ah, she want to attack me. And then you landed Boga in America. And then you are looking all around, we will be only. Benny Boku was a better thing. He looks so woman. Who's woman? To you, Boba Fellow, who is he say, I mean, if you see Oibo, Oibo giving people money. When he is he say, I mean, if you're born, who took to the woman, who called the woman for your rule of any. So, what am I saying is this? What is this? Don't worry. You see, that's the stuff. So, what am I saying is that when you now get into to overseas country, your eyes will now clear. You will now begin to see everything clearly. Say, ah, so I'm then the people you are meeting, they won't tell you the truth at the beginning. They will first of all take you to go and drink Gouda. You see, this movie you meet in America, I will push out our budget down. We are very wicked people. We won't tell you what you're about to face. We will say, ah, welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you going here? Ah, America ain't put you down. You don't understand, man. You don't understand, You know what I'm saying? Say, ah, you have to go. But maybe it's been 25 years. You think we'll be. You don't say, I did not buy, I did not go wrong with me. Oh, yeah. Is that? But you're in here. Ah! But that's all that. If he goes, if he goes to read him, he'll be like, oh, see. Oh, sorry. And the brother will be laughing. Will be laughing inside. They will not take you to go and drink Gouda. When they take you to go and drink Gouda. When they take you to go and drink Gouda. You see, you will not be there, you'll be drinking woman, woman, you'll be looking at all the Yubo people and everything. And then you they will you say, you won't know what you're doing. 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 You won't know what you're Two weeks, Lonnie. Two weeks. Or seven weeks. Or seven weeks. What am I saying? Two weeks, people. Two weeks, you weeks. Two weeks, Two weeks, you weeks. After two weeks, you are clear. Once a hello, Oga. You say, Yeah, yeah, so you say, No, you did say, If you could say, 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 Woman's over there. My little Daddy Rusno, you're ready to say, Oh, Tilly said, 
Who is man? Is your day? Is your day? What do you mean? Is your day? You're going to be a watchman. You will be a watchman. A watchman. Watch night. One man sees your day. You didn't tell me all this when I was coming. It's OT, remember? Plan one of you, remember? The packet. Yes, or paper for me. You see, these are the things that you will now begin to see. Reality. Reality of living in overseas country. That's when you will now realize that suffering is a burden. Now, the wife in Nigeria didn't know what you're going through right now. Then you will change your tone on the phone. You will suddenly become so aggressive. You will suddenly become so annoyed, annoyed and angry. And the wife will be looking at you like, what exactly have I said now? Why are you angry? Why are you angry? No, 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 my dear, no. My dear, it's not like that. My dear, 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 my People will not have you more than two weeks. If you're very lucky, they might give you one month to stay with them and then they cast you out. All right? That's when you now find out your suffering has just started. And then you might actually find somebody who is a good guy among the system. And then that's going to be the one that will now take you to school. And I'll say, ah, listen, the very first thing you need to think about is how to get under the table job. You now ask them, what is the meaning of under-the-table job? Under-the-table job means that you're going to be working for somebody, dirty job, and then they will be paying you cash. Because you cannot be on the payroll now that you don't have social security number, you don't have the paper to work. All right? Then you now say, oh, so how do I get under-the-table job? Because my wife now, I have to send money to my wife and my children. And say, okay, don't worry. Then they take you somewhere, and then you get a job, under-the-table job, either to be a cleaner, a janitor, or whatever. You can go to the shipping dock where they actually ship things. You can help them there. And then they give you $5 an hour. And then after each hour of you lifting and cleaning and doing everything, you get $5. At the end of the day, you work 10 hours a day, you only get $50. Then that's when your eyes will be clear. That, listen, I have to pay my house rent. I have to pay cell phone bill. I have to take transport to work. I need to send money to my family. I need to send money to my parents. I need to eat. This is not going to work for me $50 a day. How do I do this? So if you work for 30 days, you are not going to work for 30 days anyway. Let's say you work 20 days, okay? And you're earning just only $50 every time. That's just $1,000 in a month. You only make $1,000 a month. And then your eyes will now clear and say, God, so this is what we are facing in this country. This is what the people are facing here. Of course, they will not tell you the, the code will make their face look fresh. Understand when they wear jackets, they look good. Understand? understand? You know, the, the color will pop. You understand? Because the environment is nice, there's always electricity everywhere, electricity everywhere. And then for you to eat one dollar burger is easy. You just go to McDonald's, buy one dollar burger, eat it, and then you go, you look fine. So people think that you are making money in America, making money in London, that's so why you're looking so fine and all kinds of stuff like that. You don't understand what they're going through. So now, somebody will now call him again and say, listen, there is another way. You know, say, what other way can I go? Say, listen, you can borrow paper. So what do you mean by borrowing paper? He said, somebody can actually give you their paper they don't need, and then you start paying them every week. Okay, how do I get somebody? Then you get somebody, they link you up with somebody, that one will give you paper, will give you the security license, you go and become a security guard in McDonald's, become a security guard in hospital, and then you are bearing the name of that person, and every week, maybe you collect maybe $350, that person will collect $100 out of it. So you are only be going home with $250 every week. So now think about it. And to some of them, they actually make $600 a week. If you make $600, no, sorry, $600 every two weeks. So if you make $600 every two weeks, then the guy will collect $200 out of the $600. So you only go home with $800 in a month. All right, at least that one is still constant. You'll be able to find a room 
to rent from somebody, and then you'll be paying maybe four hundred dollars a month on that room that you're renting, or you share apartment with somebody, and then you keep going. You may not be able to send enough money home. Your wife may not understand. Your wife may be thinking, ah, what is she saying? Kilo de, oh, my son, do you want to join me? I want to see you. You know what's in me? Oh, I want to show you the oh. When the tithe is coming, my son, I must imagine you stupid pastors in Nigeria will be waiting for you to send your tithe to them. Okay, you are in America. You are walking and walking inside the snow. Are you the member again? You guys won't understand. You think it's a joke. You think that guy is going through normal life. The guy's got problems. And that's the way it is. 
so drive motor driving the oyibo car the akata car everywhere we driving everything all around you know and then the guy would not be shiny i'm going to pictures on facebook the facebook picture will be will be okay will be beautiful will be fun will be popping all up but as when she born again here now born again here now we born again say we go born again here are you sure we no say we born again see me kin tutor kin fun ni tutorial gidi kin tutor wa ni this is about the business she born again see e be be no the business o ti ye are you faithful to your wife are faithful to be faithful now kin no say get faithful get be faithful see me o ti business o o ti business be very good are you committed say i'm committed to my wife to fit commitment now ki tu fi yan le o yuba e wole abi fi commitment si le me ko ti fi commitment no si le me sa se ru olo ma nba e ko mo ba mi sa o ya lo wi eru yesi me ko mo do ba mo o ye bi gbe ru olo si le si me onu mo bi se o ju e podo le o mo ju bi ti le sa o ya bere se so mo bi ton tin ta gbo gidi o mo o gidi ga bo bo e wo mo sa wa ni bu ke mi lo ra igo kan ko da je ko wa kuno bo yi bo ni ko kuko Oh yeah, but in Kono, but you must give it to me, Daddy. What I need, I mean, I want it. Man, give it to me, Daddy. But you don't judge. You don't. What man will go and jail? Lale, lale. What man will turn it? What man will make it? Lale. What man will judge? Lale, lale. Come on, Kono, go be. You must go. You see, let go. Ah, you need to be. No, you need to be man. No, no, no. What could be me? Oh, 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 oh. No, no, no. What, what, what? Line. What, what? Line. 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 If you are not that crazy person, and you are able to meet a very good, nice guy, the nice guy will call you and say, "Listen, Dimiji, we oh yeah, there are other ways to do things." So, what is she under the table now? I'll say, "Yes, I'm working under the table." He said, "Now the next thing you can do is save your money. Then you can actually enter into contract marriage." He said, "What is contract marriage? The contract marriage is when you pay the money, and the lady will sign the paper, and then she'll file for you. Then you pay her ten thousand dollars." Say, oh, that's good. Say, how can I get one? Then they connect you with those ones that could do that for you. All right? So you can do that. And then in that case, many of those men will call their wives in Nigeria. I will say, listen, on our well, contract marriage, my dear. You defame me at your year, while that is more than you. Yeah, but you may have to be on the same contract new two years. I can't turn out again. You are my soul for me. So the government will now give me visa and all kinds of stuff, and everything will be going. And then the wife will say, Oh, do me, do me, I think, baby, I'll tell you, man, to be a do man who, ah, do man, okay. Woman, let it do me, of course, what drew me now. Five years. We makoba makoba conditional green card three years. Oh yeah. The matter what about conditional? I don't matter to draw for another one year. To five second one. But to draw third year by. I mean makoba permanent ten years. Me. So makoba permanent ten years. Why not? Mama Bonle. I'm a share this. I'm a share this. With the with the temporary green card, I can get a better job. I can do this. I can do that. And that is what those women in Nigeria they call them awaiting America. They call them awaiting America. The wife of Americans that live, I mean, the wives of Nigerians that live here in America and don't have papers yet. They call them awaiting America. So those ones are in Nigeria. They are suffering. You don't know. You see them drive good cars. You see them live in their, in their husband's houses. You see them going on around in good clothes and everything. They are suffering too. You don't know what they pass through every day of their lives, man. They are really suffering, all right? So that's exactly what they go through. They are counting days, counting years. The first year, the second year is a long, long, long time. For some of them, they've been waiting for the past 10 years, some 15 years. Some waited for 20. They are still expecting when we lead P2, when we lead come out. And then because you find the paper doesn't mean they're going to approve it. All right? You have to appeal sometimes. You have to reappeal sometimes. Sometimes it may take 10 years. 
and you're still on the case. The wife in Nigeria may be impatient sometimes and say, what is it that you are doing? I don't understand you anymore. All right? That's exactly what's going to be going on. All right? The, 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 the woman in Africa is actually so anxious to be with the husband. The husband couldn't come home because he has to wait for the paper to be true. All right? That's exactly what's going on there. It's possible for him to be sending money home, and on the line, the woman will be tired of money. We'll be telling the man, well, I don't even want the money anymore. I'm tired of the money. I can't even see my husband. When will we even be husband and wife again? It's been five years. It's been seven years. It's been 10 years. I'm tired of you sending money. Don't send money to me again. I don't even want to do it anymore. Okay? Some of these women may actually end up going to date another person and walk away from the marriage because they are not able to wait anymore. But for some of them that are committed and so loyal to their husbands, they want to wait. But they pass through the stress. They pass through the fire of waiting and waiting and waiting. And you guys don't know. You guys don't know what they're going through. You only see them drive good cars in Nigeria. You only see them have good clothes because your husband is buying clothes, sending it to Nigeria. He bought a car, ship it to Nigeria. He's sending money to them to eat. So they're eating good food. They're eating well. So they look good. But the sadness in the woman, you don't have any idea. You don't have any idea, all right? You don't have any idea. It's later when the woman will open up her mouth and talk. That's when you will understand. That's when you will understand, all right? So, so what am I saying is that now along the line, you, 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 the woman will be tired. I say, I don't think I can continue like this. And the man is actually reassuring her, say, my dear, I just have a little more time. Everything will be fine. My dear, I, I, I will be coming home. I have already appealed. Or probably, the, the, the traffic is too much. It's supposed to take six months, but now it's taking over two years now. I, I've been calling them. They are not responding. The woman will go and Google it to say six months on the website. Every one of us has gone through it. We check it out. They say six months time process, processing time. But most of the time, it's not six months. Sometimes one year, sometimes one year and a half. You are still waiting for the immigration to call you. And they're still not calling you. All right? So, so that's the issue. So the wife will believe you are lying. Oh, probably you are dating somebody. Probably you are no more loyal to me. Probably you are this or you are that. So now there will be confusion. There will be so much problem in the relationship. The wife is no longer trusting you. And you are busy begging. At the end of the day, you can get tired of, of, of actually cursing yourself. You can get tired. You say, ah, you get Oh, no, definitely hear me. And then you say it all the time, all the time, all the time, all the time, all the time. And then you get tired of cursing yourself. You just feel like, okay, well, if this is going to be the end of the whole relationship, let it be. But God knows that I'll be faithful to you. It's only that there's nothing I can use to prove myself. I have been trying. I've been laboring to get the paper done, but I cannot. I can't force the system to give me paper. And number two, I am not ready to come home right now because I've been here for 15 years. So what exactly is going to be my game? Is what will be my gain? And the woman is saying, well, I don't understand, too. I can't continue to stay in Nigeria and be waiting for 10 years, and you're not even showing up at all. Understand? And, and that's one thing I don't appreciate. You don't even look back. Why don't you just come home and let us be drinking gari? It would be better for us to drink gari at home and that you staying over there. Or you don't love me anymore. And women will think that way. They will think that way. Okay? But you as a man will now be the one to now still persuade her and do whatever is necessary to do to just give her a little bit more confidence uh, to keep going and keep going. And my advice to the, the, the people in Nigeria, for especially the women, you have a man here in America, it, it doesn't work the way oh, you think, oh, it's, it's, it's a whole lot of waiting, a whole lot of waiting, 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 waiting. Nobody knows how long it's going to take. We don't know how long it's going to take. It's going to take a long time. It might take a short time. But let me tell you something. If your husband is going by the way of marriage, sometimes he may end up in disaster. Or sometimes he may not work the way he has planned it. Many of them will plan and say, don't worry. I, I will pretend to love this woman. After I, am really, I, I, get, after I get my green card, I will look for a way to divorce her and walk away. It's not that easy sometimes. 
Sometimes you will think that you will find a way to divorce the woman and run away. You might not be able to run away in another six years. You might not be able to run away in another 10 years. You might not even be able to run away at all. All right? Because so many of those boys that have been killed by the Caribbean sisters were killed because they ran away from the relationship trying to escape. And the Caribbean sisters said, no, this is not what they're going to do to me. So they locate them, they track them down, and they shoot their heads. They don't mind going to jail, but they'll kill that guy. All right? So sometimes it doesn't work that way. Many of our Nigerian people will marry this Caribbean, marry their Qatar, uh, you know, pretending to love them. They, they didn't tell them they are married in Africa. They didn't tell them anything. They just married them just to get the paper. And then after getting the paper, they believe I can run away. All right, it's possible for you to plan like that. All right, but after getting the paper, the woman is waiting for you. She'll be hearing all these stories all around too. She's really ready for you. You think she's not ready? She's very, very ready for you. All right, and she'll be telling you that if you think you can get away, you're just lying. You think you can get away, you're just lying. It's either they carry you out of this house in a casket or you're going to crawl out of this house. Take one out of it, all right? And, and there's none of it that you want to go through. You don't want to die. At the same time, you don't want to lose your legs and all kinds of stuff like that. So it, it, it's actually sometimes very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. So it, it's, not the easy, it's not the easy stuff. Not the easy stuff. For people that have done it and they escaped, thank, thank God for them, all right? But for those ones that are actually planning to do the same thing right now, it might not work the way you're planning it. It's a different sheriff in town. Donald Trump is not making things easy right now. So it's going to be a big time risk for anybody that wants to go into this kind of stuff. I'm saying it because I love you, not because I want to discourage you. So for people who are actually planning to come to America, you are actually in Nigeria planning to come to America, don't just think about visa alone. Don't just think about visa alone. You think about what you're going to face, the music you're going to face when you get to the country you're going. It's totally different. Some people will be saying it in, saying it in their mind. They say, eh, she be you, you pass through it. Let us pass through the same thing too. Now, I don't want you to forget one thing. The, what I want, don't want you to forget is this. Some of us, we got to this country long, long time ago when things were still working right, correctly. All right? For the people that are coming now, it's not the same way. What we experience is not what they are going to experience. So you have to plan very well. You have to have a lot of plan. Number one thing is that you have to, first of all, plan where you're going to stay. You don't just come to America and then you just get to the airport and say, Hello, Father Jola, Mama, one town, Ekbele, Tambo, Bo, and GFK, Wag, baby, Lai, Lai, O, Mi, O, Ni, Wa, Mi, O, Ni, Wa, Gu, Yo, O, Ba, O, Ani, GFF, Koko, Ani, GFK, Ko, Ani, GFU, Mi, O, Ni, Wa, Gu, Yo, Mo, Mo, Mani, Ekbele, Me, Ni, To, Ba, Ti, Dale, E, Wa, Mi, Kan, La, Be, Gi, Me, Gen, Su, Si, Ke, Te, Ma, Tra, Si, Si, Me, Gen, Su, Si, Be, To, Ba, Pe, Ni, To, Ba, Su, Ni, E, Lo, Si, Si, Ota, O, Ba, Ti, Ba, Ni, Si, Ota, O, Tan, Ni, that's it. Talk about it by initial time. And on our motherless baby home, can you surrender? Can you money that salon, the motherless baby home? Baby, you are a big baby, okay? Because of a plan, you are a big baby. You are a big fool. Well, they come by any man. Nobody by any motherless baby home. You are too possible finally. No, 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 So, and that's the stuff. So, if you know you want to stay with somebody in America, first of all, call the person from Nigeria. Let them understand you are coming. What day are you coming? Don't come here and say, Move for you, surprise in the Bodami. Bodami, move for you, surprise in the Bodale, or Dibo Leo. Meaning, Toja, he needs a Bodale. Go back to the Bodami, surprise, why did you have a Luba? That's moving today. Oh, the Ebola is in GFK. Why you didn't even be GFK? Oh, sorry, only our balloons in my phone. Hey, my friends, who won't come back who's soon. Come and be your car, Kiri. Ozi di passenger for everybody. Oye, Oya wa no. Back me on. So you you need to first of all plan where you're gonna stay. Plan exactly where you're gonna stay before coming. And secondly, have the mind to struggle. You have to have that mindset that you're gonna go there and struggle. You're not coming here to be lazy. This is not the place you come and say, Oh, ti mu mi ba be. Ma koni yara. Only your tea toss here. Only but to buy to work by degree from America. Who by degree who graduated? Okay, who work by shit? But to work by shit, don't make you open to rent apartment to go somewhere constantly. To Ramoto to somewhere to some insurance here from our air. To the people who run, don't walk a lot of the number down here below. Big man, who is a little bit of a team, be by bay, our bay call. We will all sing it with you, we dance with you, we do everything. But who work by this? Life, life. 
What's it calling you? Me, the third year, what's it calling you? So, we always have that mindset that you're coming in to struggle. It doesn't matter how old you may be, <clears throat> you are starting from the bottom of the ladder. You are going to start from the bottom of the ladder, not on top of the ladder. You may be a doctor in Nigeria. Coming to America is a different ball game. You may be a lawyer in Nigeria. When you come to America, it's another thing. What happens? Okay, by the way, and my name is Barista, Barista Sola Utrege. Lo, your Barista Eko, and you look at Berezika. Over the car, you pass the exam. And I live off a Barista and saying, even. But, oh, T pass the exam when I'm a Barista. I see a lot of people in America, they call them doctor, doctor. Say, doctor, you believe this is it? And yeah, doctor Nigeria. Ha ha, my God. Doctor Nigeria. Hey, don't talk me. Is he pass the exam? Yeah, all of you pass. So you you don't go and you call him. Call us wrong good and that. Who wrong good and that? And if you don't talk, but as yet, who pass? Or T pass by Ali, your doctor. He don't only. Is it a minion? So these are the things. So when you're coming in, don't come in and be saying, okay, you are a lawyer, you are a doctor, you are whatever. I'm a doctor, don't want taxi. I'm a lawyer, don't say any, you are big, big. I'm a doctor, don't want to do not cook. So many things happening. So the place is different, but let people educate you. Let them enlighten you that the country you're going is totally different. You have been struggling in Nigeria. You are going to start from the bottom of the ladder when you get to where you're going. All right? You, you want to get there. Where are you going? So if you have the mindset of actually joining a group that, that are spending credit card, doing 419, you still need planning. Because why do you say one? Why do you say America and say Nigeria? Only black men young because of making account to buy no credit card. Who wants to buy no credit card? no credit card? Who wants to buy no who call you Rale? Who is big boy? Who is who is in Sikang? Who is big boy? What big boy? They want and want life. Last claro e won na gbesi o ye wa wa me wa daru bo sibe wo gbogbo ru fun mo ja ni gbo agbari e ibe ni wa ti ka we wa ri olo si school be wa di professor sinu e won inu e won lo ma di professor si wa di doctor sinu e won o ye ibe wa 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 life to ba tu ja ni ba won tu wa so east africa in nigeria street won be lo en lagos lagos street gbogbo hotel to fo wo ko gbogbo le to ko gbogbo everything to ro po ko sibe wa ko re gbelomi lo jogun eni ko to de wa pe where is my hotel where is my house where is my onya hotel yi bo hotel yi won ti ta on the hotel yi ti pe ti pe won ti na we je that's it all right so you need to first of all understand the system there's supposed to be an organization that will be in nigeria that will educate people travel or people with the mindset to travel so if we have such an organization in Africa to talk to us about what we are going to face when we go to Canada, what we will face when we go to America, what we will face when we go to London, okay, let us have the plan behind our minds so that the moment we enter into the country, we will understand what to do. Then there will be other agencies here in America that will absorb us into the system and then give us a kind of a tour into the system. And then we'll be able to know that, okay, these are the things you can do. These are the things you cannot do. Some people, when you, when you enter into London or enter into America, you enter into a wrong set in, or setting. And then they, tell, they, they actually told you, the only thing you can do here is, is to be a security. No. There are so many other things you can do apart from being a security if you don't have paper. All right? There are so many other things you could do. All right? So you need an agency that will be able to show us the directions, give us a kind of a foundation uh, so that we will not just get stuck because whosoever is leading you, you cannot know more than the person that is leading you. So if you end up with the guy with the mindset of he's only a security guard, then that's all what you're going to be able to do. But when you end up in a place where they can open your eyes that there are so many other things you can actually do, options that you can pick from, then you will see that you're not going to struggle that much. All you just need is hard work and you're going to get to your destination. So we need an agency in Nigeria, another agency in America that will suck us in, that will lead us through the rest of the journey and to put our feet on the ground in America and introduce us to the system. It's very important. So we need such an organization. And this is a brain work for you guys that are standing right there listening to me. I'm not based in Nigeria. So if you are based in Nigeria and you feel like you want to set up such an organization, you, you need to do so. 
let people come in, pay you for your services, uh, 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 let them pay you for that one hour teaching or class to educate them about it. And then for people in America, you want to set up a foundation like that, you can do so at the same time and you can get government funding. You can get government funding, you can get donations from non for profit organizations and stuff like that that will be able to fund whatever you're doing. All you need to have is just to have the mind to help you. All right? You can do that and set it up in every state. You can have New York City branch, you know, Chicago branch, Atlanta branch, and then every one of people coming into the place, they can get absorbed into it. They can sit down for one hour as to train them and let them see the system and how they can avoid going to jail, all right, or being killed by the police. And these are the things you have to go through. So, and then, you know, for the wives in Nigeria, I want you guys to be patient enough. The guy is coming in to look for greener pasture. It's not going to be easy. Never going to be easy. It has never been easy. It's a system. It's a process. You can't bypass process. You can't adjust process. You can't bribe your way through it. All right? And let me tell you something. You just have to wait. You just got to wait. You just got to wait. It's just about waiting. It's just about waiting. All right. So if we have any person, anybody with a question, you want to contribute to the show, the telephone number to call me is 405-550-5135. Oh, sorry. You have to call me on WhatsApp. You have to call me on WhatsApp uh, because you can't call me on the regular phone. So if you want to make a phone call on the show today, right now, you have something you want to share with us, you want to support what I've already said, or you have a story for us to share on the show real quick, uh, make a WhatsApp call uh, to 405-550-5135. So you put plus one in front of it. Plus one, 405-550-5135. So you can make a phone call real quick before I will get out of here, before I will shut it down, because my other class, my session is about to start. <clears throat> my session is about to start uh, right now. Uh, my um, uh, my um, my client will be here any moment from now. So uh, let me wait for your phone calls. If you want to make a phone call, you have to, something to talk about. You want to share something. You want to actually let us know uh, what uh, you've gone through also. Uh, make a phone call right now uh, to us. Plus one, four, zero, five. Let's pick this call. Hello? Hello? Good morning, sir. Good morning. Yes, uh, I just want to contribute, you know, on the program you're having this morning. Go ahead, man. It was an epic opener, and I want to appreciate God in your life for how you are enlightening our people. Mm. Because a lot of our people back home, they don't know what it entails, you know, to come to the Ashbora. Yeah. You know, a lot of them, they thought, you know, they can just come, just because they've seen people on Facebook, you know, people are showing up on Facebook. They don't know a lot of times when we go on Facebook, you know, we are showing, you know, everything that we are passing through. We don't want people, we don't want it to overwhelm us a lot of times. That is the reason why we people are going on Facebook, you know, to make ourselves happy. But, you know, a lot of people back home, they thought everything, you know, is so rosy in the air stroller, mm -hmm. which is not. You know, the advice, we, you know, the advice I have for those people that are back home is that what will be with they? Yeah. If God says you will come to America or you will go to UK or you will go to any place where God wants to, want to plant you, you will go there. But one thing is that as you have rightly said, sir, they should plan ahead. Mm. They should know that where they are going is not a bed of roses. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to work for everything before you get it here. Of course. You know, we 
should allow that to be at the back of our mind. And a lot of them, a lot of them back home, they have very wonderful work at hand. Mm. But just because their friends is in, is in America, you know, they want to go to America too. They will leave a very good job that God has given us to them, mm. and they will come to America to start all over again. Mm. You know, and we are right. Brothers and sisters, if you have a very good work at hand, there is no need for you, you know, to come to this place, you know, to come and be, you know, working on necessary job here. The only thing you can come here to do, come, come and use your money, spend your money, and enjoy your life and go back to your work. But for you to live a very good job, a lot of our people, they will sell their house, you mm. know. To come to America, mm. at the end of the day, there will be no way out for them. Mm. You know, we really appreciate you, Daddy, for all this word of encouragement you are giving on today. Mm. We know quite all right that the home is not all that, you know, things are not going on well at home as of now. Mm. But at the same time, it is better, you know, to stay where you're, you know, where you will have peace of mind than to come here, you know, and be roaming around the streets, mm -hmm. you know, because Trump is not making it as easy for people these days. Yeah. We got to take twice. God yeah. bless you, sir. Thank you very much, my sister. God bless you. You're welcome. Bye bye. So, uh, I, I saw somebody somebody posted, is it right to do a regime marriage? <laughs> well, I, I'm not going to say yes or no. I'm not going to say it's right or it's not right. Uh, find yourself in the system first. <clears throat> find yourself in the system first. And see how it is. You will be able to determine and decide what to do uh, when you find yourself in the system. Uh, and I think you need to learn to hear God. Uh, it's very good to learn to hear God. Uh, I preached this message sometimes ago uh, that people read the Bible. There's nothing wrong in reading the Bible. The Bible is a foundation. Uh, the Bible used to be a spoken word. It used to be a spoken word before. God said unto Abraham. God said unto Adam. God said unto Moses. These were words that God spoke into the life of those people. What exactly is God speaking to you today? That's what you need to go and think about. Think about that stuff. What is he saying? All right, because he will say things that are not written in the Bible because I'm talking about the spoken word of God. We're talking about Rema. It's, these are words. Words for the now, for the present time. What is God saying to you? You, in particular, you, yourself. What exactly is God saying to you? All right, don't just go by, oh, my pastor said, my pastor said. No, 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 no. Don't go by all what the pastor is saying. You should have a relationship with God by yourself and be able to hear God by yourself. So the telephone line is still open by the grace of God, 405-550-5135. 405-550-5135. That's the number to reach me, but you're going to make a WhatsApp call. WhatsApp call to me uh, on that number uh, by the grace of God. That's what I wanted to do. Uh, at this point in time, if you have anything you want to say, you want to contribute uh, to this particular stuff, please do so. Uh, a lot of Nigerian Christians, they are non-Christians. They are not believers. They are hypocrites and they are religious people. They don't read the Bible. They don't know God. All right? I, I, wish, I, can be, I wish I can be preaching on, on Nigerian TV station. I wish I can be talking on the radio in Nigeria also. Probably we can actually borrow them some bread. They are just religious people. They're just religious. They don't understand what Christianity is. Like I said about a week ago, people that are real Christians, where if you really want to be, want to actually know Christians, are people that live in the Western world where the system is working. Where the system is working. You don't live in Nigeria where the system is not working, that you are always afraid every time, and the prayer you pray is die, 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 and you think you are a Christian. No, you are not a Christian. You are afraid. You are an afraid, one afraid person that is looking for security. You are, you, are, you are a confused person that is looking for clarity. You are a person that doesn't have a direction, that is asking God for direction, but you don't even know how to hear God. Now God is giving you direction right now in America. He has given you exposure, a system that is working, security everywhere. If you can still pray to God in that system, you are a born-again person. Forget about it. Forget about it. You can't, you can't be a real born-again Christian in Nigeria because you go by what you feel. The prayer you pray is about what you feel. How you feel, emotional prayers. That's what you pray. You see, when you come to a system that is working, that's when you can actually really serve God. Because in the system, you don't lack nothing. And you can still remember God, you are a Christian. You are a Christian. 
Don't let me preach this morning. I don't want to preach. I, I really don't want to preach this morning. Don't, don't let me go there. But, but I, I just don't like people who are hypocrites. Or something is not good, something is right, something is not good. Something, who are you to say something is not good or something is right or something is wrong? Who are you to say that? Why don't we just let God be God? Why don't we just let God be God? Why do you want to take the place of God? Why don't you just let God be God? Let him speak to his people by himself. The way we deal with me is going to be the way, and it's not going to be the same way we deal with you. You are not my standard. I'm not your standard. I'm not supposed to be your, 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 your lead. The Holy Spirit is supposed to lead every one of us individually. Relationship with God is, an, is individual. It's unique. It's your own life with God. Okay? The majority of Nigerian people that are not born again, they read the Bible to condemn. They read the Bible to, 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 to they are so judgmental by nature and, and all they do is just, they listen to one pastor, one pastor says something and then they keep on amplifying it. Why don't you just go to the Bible and read it? Let me tell you something real quick, ladies and gentlemen, what you guys don't know. Majority of the pastors don't know exactly what they're preaching. The Bible is a, used to be a spoken word. God spoke to somebody. They documented it. What is God saying to you today? That's what I want to know. I want to hear it. The only way you can have direction is not by reading the Bible. The Bible is a foundation. You can only have direction when God speaks to you. Rema must come daily. You must hear God every day. What is God saying to you? It's not what he said to Abraham. What is God saying to you? Not what, what he said to Moses. He directed Moses all through. You will remember when God was talking to Joshua. He said, Joshua, don't be afraid. As I was with Moses, I will be with you. But your own tenor is different. Your own journey is different. Moses was more or less a leader, but you are a military leader. You are different. The way I will work with you is different. So God will work with the people differently. The instructions he will give to us is totally different. So you don't, don't just go and compare yourself to Moses. Don't compare yourself to David. Oh, I am David in the, in the making. Who are you to say you are David? You are not David. Nobody can be David. You can be David. Your name can be David, but you are not going to be David of the Bible. You don't have the covenant of David. You don't have the kind of faith of David. You don't have what David, you don't know what David know. You don't know exactly, you don't have the relationship David had with God. God doesn't know you like a new David. So you have to know, you, let God know you for who you are. Let God know Shola, let him speak to me. I have words that actually God spoke to my life. He said, Shola, this is it. They say, they say, they say, they always remember from God every day for my life. It's not about the Bible. It's not me reading the Bible. Reading the, the Bible is only a foundation for my life. It's a compass. The Bible is only proving that God was with certain people at a certain time. The Bible was only telling me what God could do. The Bible is only telling me that God is able to do all this. Now, what exactly is God doing in my life today? Is he speaking to me or not? He must speak to you. If you are really a child of God, God must speak to you. You can't just believe, oh, the Bible says in Genesis Revelation chapter 2, he said the children of Israel, they shouted unto God. And God said this, let us shout the same way they shout. Don't shout the same way the children of Israel said they shouted. Go and do the same thing that Jehoshaphat did. Go and carry people to war. And go and be blowing tam 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 tambourine there. Go and be blowing trumpet that you will see if God will come down or not. Is God the one that is telling you to go and buy tambourine? Is God telling you to go to war with instrument of, of, of music? If God is not the one telling you that, if you go to war, God will just be looking at you like this and you're stupid. Did you ever ask me what I want to do with your own enemy? You are comparing yourself with Joseph. Who are you? You don't compare yourself with Joseph. He's a, he's a different person. God dealt with him in a different way and he will deal with you in a different way. These are the things that pastors don't teach Nigerians. Teach Nigerians to have relationship with God. That's what they need to have. So they can hear God directly. How will they have a relationship with God? Let them be real people. Let them stop faking themselves. Today you will say, God said, take off your hearing. Tomorrow you will say, God said, be wearing hearing. Next week you say, God said, take, take off your pint. Next week you say, God said, wear your pint. You are a confused set of people. Confused people. You don't even know God at all. You are just religious. Confused people. He said, don't let me come and be preaching on your TV station in Nigeria because me, I, I will show you guys what the real Christianity means. 
Real Christianity is actually taking care of the less privileged. Do you know how many, how many sick people are on the street in Nigeria? Do you know how many crazy people walk the street of Nigeria? Hungry people walk the street of Nigeria? And the millionaires in Nigeria are giving money to, to the rich people. The millionaires in Nigeria, they are coming to show up, to, to donate money in church to, to greedy idiots in, in Nigeria. When other people are suffering on the street, they cannot go there and be of, they, they make their money to be of use, to take care of the less privileged. They don't do that. That's not Christianity. Christianity is taking care of the widows, taking care of the motherless and the, and, and the fatherless. That's what Christianity is. It's about helping other people. That's why Jesus came. He left his glory to come here to help you and her. The Bible says when we were yet a sinner, we are not qualified. We are not even good at all. He said Christ came to die for us. How many people have you died for? Stupid idiots. He said, they come here, they be quoting scriptures. Like I said, they say they know God. You don't know God. You just know, you just know, you just know history. You, are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you just know history. You read the Bible, you cram it. You be quoting Bible here. What do you know? You don't know nothing. Imagine no bimio. You are just set of religious, stupid idiots. They don't know nothing about the Bible. Go and sit down, experience things, and let God speak to you inside of that situation. You will hear God. You will hear God. You, you, will, definitely, you will definitely hear God. A lot of you, a lot of you guys, you believe that it's in the, it's in the dressing that you know a child of God. You are, you are fooling yourself. It's in the dressing. Oh, the person name we are here, he must be a child of God. He's a fool. He's a lie. He's not a, he's not a Christian. Only fool over over fool. He must be a Christian. He looks very sad. To be sad doesn't mean the person is a Christian. To look sad is not our God is a beautiful God. He's a happy guy. He does he doesn't want you to look sad. Looking sad doesn't mean you are a Christian. He looks sad. He looks very sad. He looks like as if to say his money. Because he looks like his money doesn't make him to be a Christian. It doesn't make him to be a Christian. A Christian, the Bible says in the presence of God, that is fullness of joy. He's a joyful person. He's a person that is shining. You will rub his pancake, rub his makeup, he look fine. He will smell good. Dan, dan. Go, go, go and see when they were fighting on, on the garment of Jesus. The ointment, the ointment on the body of Jesus was so good. Oh, you can smell him from one mile away. I Christian. Christian Rado, who dress me, who would do call, who would do call, or my Jesu, 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 Forget about it. What's wrong with you? You know, don't be coming here with religious comment on my network. I don't like religious comment. I love people that are real. Real people. Real people that want to be real Christians. Those are people that want to actually pastor. I don't want to pastor idiots that can't read the Bible. They were fighting on the garment of Jesus. You're telling me where Jesus is So what do you remove is Jesus from the of your ugly boy? Because Jesus is remember. So what you remove is Jesus is carrying. Some of your ugly boy, don't be Jesus in one. Fine man, no man know all the time. No man look fine man, lean face, tall, long face, tall guy. But but look, be a be everything you know, man. So while everything will be fine. That's what they use. The picture of Jesus Christ in your church. Go and look at the way it is. So ring your man, your man. Ring your man, your man. What? I want you to don't look. One movie is here. I want you to bad. You can do fine. Buruk. The devil actually is a handsome guy. He doesn't have two hands on his head. The devil is a handsome guy. I didn't know you mean. Go back to my poor more Christianity. My watch only net of my comment in me. Was that my nozzle down hypocrite a bear? They don't have comment around on make a lot of comment in me. Was that you know, Jesus Christ has taken us away from bondage. We are no longer in bondage. We are free. He has placed us under grace. But that doesn't mean that we abuse grace. Okay? We will still be under grace. We are not righteous. We are only righteous by. The blood of Jesus Christ.
He died for us and he made us righteous. You don't write us. You know, we don't write it. That's it. That's, that's just it. That's what I'm talking about. You know, what did you just want to all be? You know, only just only Mary Magdalene don't want to do the corner no more meat here. Only Mary Magdalene don't watch or jack with that. Jesus, mother of Jesus, don't watch or jack with that. Let me go and start my second. My second stop is starting by 2.30 now. And this is 2.24. And the person is actually waiting for me downstairs. All right, guys. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching this episode. God bless you. And I'll see you guys later. Hey, you love those people. Hey, see that down. Hey, don't you pass those allow. Hey, salon you. Oh, yeah. You know me, you do say you love those people. Rara. You know me, you do say you. Understand? But you want me, this is like the jetta. Understand? Abandon him, abandon him, but I mean, that is Jetta and Mojo Abdi. Eh, your daddy. Eh, go with daddy. Eh, be the account number. Eh, be the paper number. Eh, be the cash up number. Eh, T sending. Who send two angry passes to Lalo de Dina? Eh, Bimilo de Lunch, Bimilo de Anything, eh, young by Jet. Ah, look at she only in London, in London, yea, young so that Emma Pippi Toro, Emma Lugusi fake. Fake bushi, eh? Mo lazy fake. Don't know the one in Nigeria, mo wola America. Eh? Mani, muje nyo, muje basi nyo nye fake. Nana ni fake nyo le nye fake eja. Nye eh? Ligbi pasu jola lo je eh? Lugu lo wo eh? Broke, broke nye. Oye kama pe ni broke ni. Iso ne mo ni broke ni. Oye kuma je eh? Iwa si nyo ma nyama kaki. Eh? Ti eh? Ti eh? Surprise mi ara. Eh? Surprise mi. Mugu post like that the money. Ah, pasu jola is coming to London. Every one of you are shouting. Yeah, come on, come to London, come to London. Mude London, don't be Mose Land, the Bible goes at him on the pastor, Shola in London. We won't be late, we'll salon. One of those, Baba. Hello, Baba. Mwaki, Mama, Waki, Mama, Waki. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, cool, I. Oh, yeah, oh, by the kilo day, kilo day. Ah, ah. Bella is a little dony. Oh, yeah, kilo, the prophet, and he can take him a little book. Mama, Papa, you know, too, damn, Mama. You know, book, Mama, is a book. Mani, ah, oh, cool. Over Kuda, Muguri, Morius, no paper made it. Over shoot your ear, over shoot you out. I don't know. Look, 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 I'm sending something. This is in <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I know the best. I the best. I the You guys go bring money out though. Oh yes. The best thing Bino. The best thing Bino go down. The best thing go down. Mo empty account. Mi kido wa duini yo. Mo empty account. Mi ni yo. Mo no bugu go bitan. Mi do amu. The best thing London. Ah, I'm at London. I want TV. You know what? What big? What that irony? That's irony. That's irony. What new work in here? Give them your contact information. <laughs> All right, so guys, love you guys, man. I'll see you guys later.